Hey, it's Travis. I'm at the Silver Core Training Facility in Delta. We're going to talk about what you can do with your 12.6 prohibited firearms. Roll intro. If your firearm has a barrel length of 105 millimeters or less, if it discharges 32 or 25 caliber ammunition, it's considered a prohibited firearm under section 12.6. So what can we do with these 12.6 prohibited firearms? First, foremost, the best option, take it to the range and shoot it. We've got our firearms license, we've got our authorization to transport, we've got a registration certificate. Take it out, shoot it, have fun with your 12.6 prohibited firearm. If you want to sell your 12.6 prohibited firearm in Canada, you can sell it to other 12.6 license holders, you can sell it to businesses, you can sell it to museums. If you want to sell your firearm outside of Canada, you can export it. It's a straightforward enough process. You have to be mindful both of Canada's export regulations and whatever country that you're importing it into to ensure that you meet all of the requirements to make sure you're doing this lawfully. Since that can be complicated for some people, there are businesses specifically set up to take care of the export and import of firearms for you. A lot of people take that as an option. If you never want this firearm to fire again, take it to an approved gunsmith and have the firearm deactivated. There are particular guidelines that need to be adhered to when having the firearm deactivated. You can read more of that on our blog and there is a link below. You can turn the firearm into the police, but be sure to call them ahead of time to let them know what your intentions are. You can donate your firearms to a licensed firearms business. Silver Corps is always accepting donations. Give us a phone call. Happy to help you out because it helps us out. It's just more resources that we can use to assist in training others in the safe and legal use of firearms. You can change the legal classification of your 12.6 firearm by having an approved gunsmith alter its barrel length to over 105 millimeters, or if the barrel is already over 105 millimeters, we can look at changing the caliber. Keep in mind, if you do have the barrel removed and have a longer barrel installed to make the firearm no longer prohibited, that barrel alone, although you were allowed to be in possession of it when it was installed on the firearm, that barrel is now considered a prohibited device. A prohibited device like a suppressor, same category, same charges. So the licensed gunsmith will have to hang on to that. You will not be able to get that back. We recently had a client come in who asked us to change the classification of their firearm from prohibited to restricted. We had a little bit of fun filming this. We hope you like it. If you enjoy this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you already haven't, and if there are any other topics that you'd like to hear me talk about, let me know in the comments section below.